I've always had a very eclectic taste in music. Um, you know, whether it be, you know, male energy tracks or female energy tracks. I, I mean, I love so many different genres also. Um, I started uh, after that tour uh, <clears throat> that Jed was talking about where I got stuck uh, 2016, uh, the final night, I said, I'm going to take one year off, no music, no nothing, and just clear my head, hit the reset button, and I almost made it about a year because uh, all my friends were like, there's no way you're going to sit around for a year and take a year mm -hmm. off, Tommy. We know you. There's no way. I almost made it. Anyway, um, I'll try to give you the condensed version here. Of course, ideas are coming. I'm down in the studio. I'm making all this music. And I have a collaboration list of people that I've always wanted to work with or people new people on my radar. Wow, these, these, these people are doing some cool stuff. I would love to get them on a track. So anyway, music's written, um, and I'll just pick the first two singles, uh, one of them being Knock Me Down and the other one called Tops. Um, I had uh, written this music, and I sent it to a guy. His name's Kilvane, and... I'd been following him for a while and the guy's doing some incredible work, very unknown up and coming artist. I sent him the track and he, uh, he didn't think it was me. It was on Instagram. Mm -hmm. he, he's like, Oh, this is some bullshit. Like th th this is like some fake account or whatever. And then he did some research and was like, yo, that's him. That's really Tommy. So, <laughs> He gets back to me, he hears the track, he goes, man, I would love to come, come and do it. I go, I, man, I just know you will just smash on this. He, he lives up in uh, Northern California, came down here, boom. And the same thing with, uh, with Tops. Um, her name is Push Push. Uh, she's a South African rapper and whoo, she's a firecracker. I, I've been following her for a while and I wrote this track and I'm like, oh my God, this has her name all over it. Uh, I reached out to her, she came over and boom, done. Um, that's kind of organically how this happened. So I ended up with this body of work. Um, I had about six or seven male uh, energetic tracks and six or seven female tracks. And when I started to, when they were done, I started to sequence the record and how it would play down. And no matter what I did, it just wasn't, it just wasn't jiving. And then one day I just put all the, all the boys over here on this side of the record and the girls on this side. And for some reason they kind of danced together uh, on their, on their separate sides, but with a common thread and it played down exactly how I liked it. I go, that's it. And that's the reason for calling it Andro, uh, being, you know, having both a male and female side. 